Hi everybody, good morning. I'm doing this room. It was released yesterday by Tryhack Me. This is for a very dangerous bug that uh, in GitLab CV 2023-7028. Uh, this is about resetting password for the github uh, lab account uh, this pack was uh, when it was it was in uh, in June 20 yeah this is a new bag this for this year uh, okay we can start I think some information this is the guy who, who catch the bug this uh, is the person who found it uh, it's already has an exploit in um, uh, I, I, in github so it's a vozek this is a python script that can do that we can do uh, another version of the script um, we, we have now uh, a try hack me give us now installation of github community edition we also have our mail we have a mail server a rain loop uh, what else we have we have a repository for git gitlab the old one and then the updated version of gitlab so we can get a comparison about them so affected version of course you have a list of version if you have installed you need to update your version so that's clear there you can read about it there now the whole story about this github uh, uh, gitlab if you go we have this our version now it's an it's an old version so if I go now uh, we can do view page source beta view page source no not this one where is uh, why it's a freezing now what's going on uh, if we look at the password reset request uh, no let's not do that forgot password so if we go to inspect here uh, you can see now the value for authentication token the same here maybe it's better to, to look at here you can see now uh, the vendor is side with the github post username and password we can have the username and password it's here you can see it here so the action uh, uses the password we have the the other uh, what is that one uh, the authentication token for CSR uh, CSR protection token so cross site request forgery so we have it here it's there the value authentication token and then of course you reset the password you type your email the user email and that's it so in form control so what we have here is of course this is the the whole things this this is remember this is the the old code the old code is here and that's the part like when we have here inside our room uh, that line this line so subject perform request is a ruby code so uh, ruby array create param image so the issue about this is these new checking about the email and the token so we don't they don't connect them together so basically you have uh, the authentication token and username you can change the user the email address so the attack only require authentication token during form submission and the victim email address to gain control of the target account so basically if we can capture the token and then we done so there's no balance and check that this token is connected to that email so the code located <laughs> was accepting multiple emails as input however it lacked the email verification of a validation mechanism to confirm it was associated with the correct user so that's sometimes you think uh, how the hell this thing happened so it that's why bug bounty sometimes you can say maybe don't get scared and start bug bounty maybe you need to start too because it's it seems it's there's always someone forget something so of course now what's the name of the field that is sent with a password reset request CR, crsf attack for for you we can know it's this one it's uh, authentication token so that's the field uh, of course the request is post is a post form uh, is a post for uh, form so the request is is a post form so now uh, the exploit mechanism part of it so 
Okay, where would we have? So before we, we, we explain the explanation, of course, we need to add the uh, in this lab simulation in your IP, the, the host name is github.triagme. So it's in port 8000 and then the email is port 890 rain loop. So we have the two, we already have them. I'm not uh, so there. Uh, okay, we have this introduction. You have the email there. Then we can lo uh, log into our email, attacker mail gitlab dot me so I can go to my email attacker at gitlab dot me dot what a mail dot I almost forgot about it mail dot so we can have that one testing one two three okay so testing at one two three don't save so we have now this email our email of course now is uh, attacker mail dot gitlab so we have there so the idea now can we try to hijack the account so uh, the the payload is here so basically we already have our payload here is uh, let's copy this one Uh, let's go to copy it there. So let's start early morning. I'm a bit still sleepy. Attacker dot py. So basically, it's a Python script that do. Uh, uh, so basically, it's a Python script that will send to. This is the user password new. Is the API that will be calling. For for the for getting for to steal the token, so okay, so attacker.py, and then we can see that the code first make a post request to use a password new. So you can you can see is that's the uh, the the endpoint of ours. So we can it's starting with the with this endpoint. So this is user uh, the header is doing the header acts uh, all of that. So uh, where is that? Uh, what I'm looking for? I think also that's why it's good idea to start learning languages. When people say you, uh, you are a cyber security, you don't need to learn language. That's your problem. You better learn at least Python or something. You don't like look like you don't know what you're doing. So his is doing the headers. So reset the password. He's sending to use a password, and then he's getting what? I'm not sure you target email, evil email, password. We have the email somewhere. You should have the email. Um, where, where do you put the email? I thought he has the email somewhere. Um, no, you need to define the email when you send. Yeah, you, that's the, the, the script. So basically, let's go back, let's save this one. Oops, sorry, sorry guys, I did mistake. Why is not... So, uh, so if we want to do, so we just Python 3, attack our wish, minus u, I'll give him the URL of the machine. My IP is 10, 10, 1, uh, the IP of the server on 39. 15 is port 8000 so that's the, the the machine there minus t the victim i want you to send me to me victim mail dot uh, the the victim uh, gitlab dot try hack me minus e that's the victim but mine is and send me the reset to me so you see this is why dangerous so we try so this is the victim email, that's the one we will access to it, mail.kitlab, this is my email, this is the email I'm using now, uh, this one, <coughs> this is the email, so basically now I'm doing, yeah, python attacker.py, connect uh, to the, that's the victim and let's see what happened. Email sent to victim and attacker. 
now and then flag value there so let's see what happened there so if we go now to our email where is the refresh button I never used this uh, rain loop before what are, what's this uh, inbox did I type something wrong attack mail dot gitlab dot ah, that's why try hack me th so let's see now if I go to my email I should get an email that's strange yesterday it was fine let's see what what we doing wrong here uh let's make sure we're doing the same things victim mail dot git love dot track me minus e attacker attacker email that's my email a t t a c k mail dot git love dot track me uh, what's going on <coughs> The script minus UHTP, the IP is 10101315, 10, GitLab is in 8000, minus T, the victim, VIC, team, mail. Why it's always when you do a video, somehow things doesn't work. I think uh, I might, uh, I can assume what went wrong, you can send, uh, I can guess what's the problem. You don't send a recent in the same time, we did a mistake the first one so now it doesn't work. Getting authentication, oh now it's coming. You see now we we got the email get lab reset password so we have the reset password so we, if we click reset password new password we can put our new password then change the password now we know the password so you know the email is the victim email so we know that we'll use the victim email <coughs> Uh, <coughs> yeah, the victim at mail dot uh, at mail dot git lab dot uh, try hack me. I put the password that I just changed now, and basically we log in. Now we are in GitLab. So basically, with the script, you can you can easily. It's basically you just give it. So basically you just give him where is the GitLab, you give him the victim, so you need to know the email of the person you want to hack and then you, you, your own email address and then basically the whole story is finished. So basically that's what you get. You can access and, and you got a normal email like... S so basically the problem of, uh, of GitLab because now this part it doesn't connect the email so uh, the token is, 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 so anyone if you have a token you can just um, do whatever you want about it. It's not connected to the email address. Of course try hack me here. The, okay, the, that's the, um, the script is calling this API and then this we, know, we saw that we have this. Uh, uh, this is the flag, or con uh, uh, the value of the flag, because the script is modified version of this. That's why if you use this one you don't uh, get the flag, but this one should work too. And then of course mitigation, of course get the update. If you look for the, the update version, you remember before we have only this line here. Now they add all this context now. They add this part so to, to, to connect the user to that token so we don't have the same problem as before. Uh, and try hack me also mitigation technique as part of GitHub. If we release the patch, we can see from the source code. So this is the source code. Um, that additional validation and verification steps have been added to the GitLab process. So we talk about this one. Context. Of course, you need always to update and now need to be always security. This is always the same rule. Uh, subscribe to newsletter or whatever software you use so you get always the latest security update. And that's it. That's a room. It's really dangerous, this one. It's like... Uh, 
I think I need to start back bounties. Uh, I mean, why not? What uh, this is Hakka one, so okay. Okay, guys, this is a, a simple. I, I hope you guys you try to do it because that's cool. Like it show you real world how to use it. It's not like just some kind of half simulation. I did really enjoy this room. Okay, guys, thank you very much and have a good day.